When I was first starting out, I wish I knew that embedded systems existed and that they are everywhere. The most important factor for success in embedded systems is persistence. It doesn't always work on the first try, but that feeling when you solve a truly hard problem, it makes it all worth it. At a university course, you might learn to program or put together a microprocessor system to program an assembly. Having that sort of theory is great, but that isn't what I do as an embedded software engineer. I wanna show you how to do the system and software design. The students will learn what it's like to work in a resource-constrained environment, how to do debugging and testing on systems that could ship to millions of customers. One of the non-technical main skills that an embedded systems engineer should develop is working in an interdisciplinary team. And it's important to understand what the whole system is doing, not just your piece of the software. This Tetris-like puzzle of optimizations and how they work together, it's the skill that I think people have and people like, but they don't develop it enough. I can see how people would choose to pursue a career in embedded systems because it's interesting or because it's rewarding, but I really want them to think about how much of a difference you can make in the world. I have gotten to work on amazing things. I have helped people's lives with ICU equipment. I've helped fight crime. I've helped taught kids how to read. That was pretty cool. I'm Elisa White, and I'll teach you how to make embedded systems that can change the world.